Hello YouTube, this is William. Okay, this is the pre-sale video for the Fire and Bone. I have 37. 37 Fire and Bone first runs. This is the only place you can get a first run. Only time you can get a first run Fire and Bone. If you order them from the supplier or the dealers, they will not have first uh, run on the blades. This is the only time and only place you can get those. Okay? All right, I'm going to tilt the camera down, and if you have wind noise, I'm sorry. The wind blows here. <laughs> I mean, it's just one of those things, and I have a mic on. So, all right, here we go. I'm going to tilt the, um, the camera down, and I'm going to just kind of scan through, and then we're going to go through each one individually, and I'm going to talk about them uh, after I readjust the camera, okay? So real quickly, these are the wooden ones. Well, look at those. Ain't they pretty? Look at all that. Man, that mesquite right there is just unbelievable. Got some black woods. Got a desert ironwood with mosaics. Maple, tiger stripes. These are um, um, walnut. This is a walnut. These are walnut burls. So this walnut would be a little bit, uh, quite a bit cheaper than these will be because material cost. Okay. Then I've got a couple of um, camo micartas. That's the only. Uh, well, there's one more micarta. I'm gonna get to that in a minute. Sure touch. Okay. And then up here at the top, these are the thin or narrow handles. For those of you who like a narrow handle, that you might want to slip that in your pocket. Use it for a pocket sheet uh, if you want to get that from Stitch Gear. This will be a perfect size for that. Uh, it'll be flat. Uh, this one right here is that's a beautiful. That's that gray sure touch. Uh, this is the only other micarta besides the two camos, and it's a OD green micarta with uh, a natural canvas micarta um, scale, uh, and it's the it's the thin one too. So you see that. It's eighth inch scales with eighth inch liners. Okay. All right. So let me set the uh, the camera down, and we're gonna go through these individually, and I'm gonna talk to you about the uh, the design, and um, we'll go from there. Okay. Uh, let's talk about what I do with my, there it is, my tape. <laughs> All of them, and you guys are crooked. Yeah, my stand's crooked. So, hey, <laughs> it's one of those things. <laughs> Nothing is perfect in this world, okay? <laughs> All right, so. Let's talk about the design. All of these are AEBL, eighth inch. The blade on it overall is about four inches, or the blade is four inches. The overall is about eight and three eighths, eight and a half. Now, every one of these are handmade. So they're not all exact alike, okay? So there's gonna be slight differences here and there. The handle's gonna have slight differences here and there. The grind's gonna have slight differences here and there. But they all are fire and bones with the curved scandy into a saber. And the saber is blended back into the scandy. The cutting edge is the same angle all the way through. And if I pull out my little home. RST. If you hadn't pre-ordered one, you need to do that. But please, please, I mean, you're on. The, you will be on the same page. It'd be the available customized web page. But please, don't order one of these RSTs with one of these because these will not ship for at least 120 days. So then you want me to pay for shipping? <laughs> I mean, there's stuff. Uh, uh, shipping is about 11 bucks. So please order them separate. Okay, all right, that'd be nice. That'd be great. I'd, pr I'd appreciate that. All right, so let's talk about uh, sharpening. And you can sharpen these with a flat stone. 
Okay, you just lay it on the flat stone right there on the edge. Use this, this part here of your stone. And I don't recommend natural stones for any of my knives. The Rockwell on these is about 61 to 63. And they will eat up a natural stone. Okay? So these right here, if you get a, a steel hone or a diamond hone or something like that, then just use the very edge of it. And just lay it on there until you find that scandy. And just sharpen it up. Just like that. Okay? Now, on this part here where that tooth is, see the tooth right there? You see that? I recommend sharpening it the other way with that tooth, okay? So you just sharpen it to that tooth. So you sharpen this part separate than this part. If you run it all the way through, which is the same angle, you can do that. Eventually, you're going to run that, wear that tooth out. It's not going to have that facet there. Okay, so I recommend uh, sharpening them separate with if they have a tooth or a facet for that tooth there. All right. Okay. Hope that all makes sense. If it didn't, then I'll do a separate video on, on sharpening these knives with teeth or with tooths. Tooths <laughs> is it <a> tooth? <laughs> we just make it up. All right. Okay. So here we go. Um, like I say, they're all ABL, eighth inch, um, about a four inch blade, about four, eight and three-eighths overall or eight and a half somewhere along in there and um, let's see I think that's it so let's go through each and every uh, each individual one uh, and we're gonna do I think three listings on this uh, we're gonna separate the wooden ones from the other ones and then we're gonna have uh, the, the thicker or the, the, the fatter handles with the sure touch and then we're gonna have the narrow handles with the um, as a separate listing, so there'll be three listings. It'll be easier to pick those out. It'll be easier to find them. Uh, speaking of finding them, if you go to my website wcknives.com, up at the right-hand corner, there's three dashes. Okay, so click on that. A menu will drop down, and there will be a page called um, Available Custom Knives. Okay, so click on that. And all of these listings will be there on Saturday, okay? Not tomorrow, not Friday, Saturday of this week, Saturday at 12 noon Central Standard Time. So if you're on the East Coast, it's 11 o'clock, or I'm sorry. If you're on the East Coast, it's 1 o'clock. Central Time, 12 o'clock. Mountain Time, 11 o'clock. Pacific time, 10 o'clock, okay? So, again, Saturday, Saturday, all right? At noon Central Standard Time. These knives will pop up on the website, just pop, there they are. I recommend that you create an account on my website, have all of your information plugged in with credit card information, all that other stuff, it's perfectly safe. I don't see it. Nobody sees it unless the Russians attack and uh, they hack my my system. <laughs> Which that's the only way that you're gonna have a problem. Okay, so you can trust the system. Uh, put all your information in there because I expect these to sell fairly quickly. Uh, I do. Uh, these are phenomenal knives. Um, you know, every every time I come out with a knife, I call it my favorite, but. If, if it wasn't my favorite, I wouldn't come out with it. <laughs> so so these this is the knife design that I have used extensively, exclusively for the past month, two months. Well, ever since uh, I, I, I came up with a design, and if you go back through the videos, you'll see how long that's been. But um, it's uh, basically a cap heart. It's the cap heart design with a what I call the woodsman's grind which is a scandy into a saber because you do not use this part of the knife the same as you use this part of the knife so why have the same grind you want a slicing ability slicing power with that saber there but you still want this uh, this part here for the wedging properties to uh, split kindling kindling you know small stuff don't try to be beating on this knife through a four inch knotted twisted piece of oak okay 
Don't do any knife that away. Uh, no knife is, is designed to do that, okay? I don't care what anybody says. But anyway, kindling size wood, you'd be fine. Um, to split that apart right here at the at the, uh, the scanty portion, all right? Um, and also doing feathers and things like that, what you would want a scandy for. And then this right here is for your slicing of power, your, your fine carving, your um, kitchen prep, your game prep, that type of thing uh, that you'll need a, a little bit thinner blade, thinner edge uh, for that slicing power, okay? All right. Um, so anyway, um, let's just go through the knives and, and um, um, just kind of show them to you, all right? I'm sorry, I was reading a, a text. <laughs> it popped up on my phone. All right, so here is Blackwood, African Blackwood has uh, the yellow or, or gold, it's more of a gold looking to me, it's called yellow, but I think it's gold, uh, with uh, brass pins, okay, that's one, and I've got another blackwood, African blackwood, this is red liners, red pins, okay, like so, then I got another African blackwood, with white liners, white pins. Then I have a desert ironwood with uh, red uh, mosaic pins and red liners. And people are going to ask me about pricing. Pricing varies, always varies according to handle material. Okay, um, so this would be the highest knife on sale on this sale uh, this was this knife is going to be about three hundred and and uh, fifteen dollars okay this is the highest one on this table most expensive one okay because desert ironwood and the mosaics all right three hundred and fifteen dollars for this one the other ones are going to be cheaper than that the the cheapest one is going to be uh, the uh, just standard um, Probably this one here, the narrow one, and I, I think it's going to run 275 uh, in that range. So 275 to 315, um, depending on handle material. Okay. All right. Uh, next one is maple. And we got uh, this one is a tiger, tiger stripe with mosaics, black liners. And I've got um, just standard, everyday, run-of-the-mill um, uh, walnut with white pins, white liners. Then we've got the walnut burl, and this has some fantastic feathering in it. This is beautiful stuff here, folks. Uh, with white pin, this one's with white pins and white liners. Here's another one. Let's look at that feathers. Man, in the sun, you can see it, it, it fluoresces pretty, pretty nice. With blue pins and a dark blue liner. Okay. And this one is a uh, walnut burl with uh, black pins and uh, a black liner. Walnut burl with mosaic pins and a green liner. Kind of in the bind here, let me reposition my chair slightly. So I'm not twisting my back here. All right. This is a beautiful one. This one's going to be up there with a, about 310, 315. This is um, um, dyed uh, buckeye burl. Um, it's, the, the, it's, it's beautiful stuff um, with the uh, red mosaics. And I got another one with uh, the buckeye burl blue. It's got it's got that gold or, or yellow liner 
with uh, mosaic pins. See those mosaics? If they got smudges on the blade, we'll polish them up before we ship them. I promise. <laughs> okay. Um, then uh, I've got some Osage. I've got two of them with the uh, black pins and the black liners. Okay. One of them um, has a has the opening a little bit larger than the other one which I mean is no big deal but just kinda give you guys a fair warning on that it's a little bit different but all of them are a little bit different okay and then this is the next one Osage black pins black liners and uh, they'll be on the listing um, probably I don't know how we can do it separate I guess we could do a one and a two so anyway so we do a, a, a one we do one with the the larger opening on the the um, the lanyard hole opening we do one and then two on the other one then I have another Osage this one is brass pins with a green liner and I've got two teaks teak wood this one is brass pins with a yellow or gold liner. And this one is teak with white pins, white liner. And this one has to be my favorite. <laughs> this is some beautiful mesquite. Mesquite with the black pins, black liners. Look at that that grain on this. It is just a beautiful knife. Okay, um, that's all of the wood. So let's uh, go through the micarta right quick. And again, that the wood will be a separate listing. And now we're going to do a second listing, which would be the full size or handle width. And uh, like I say, every one of them is going to be a little bit slightly different, but we're, we're talking probably around an inch wide on the widest ones. Um, and that's this one is my cartel with the uh, 116th liner. So that's probably about the thickest that you're going to get on a handle. So if you want a large handle or a thick handle, then this one will be be one for you. Uh, it's um, camo my with uh, canvas my with orange pins and an orange liner. Okay. Now I've got uh, just a camo micarta uh, with uh, the uh, no liners, just brass pins, and this would be right in the two two seventy five range. Um, so it'll be one of the cheaper ones. Um, so with this one, this no liners or just brass pins would be in the the low end range. Again, it's it's going to fill up a fill up your hand very nicely. This is camo sure touch. No liners. And we got red sure touch, red pins, no liners. You got orange sure touch, black pins, black liners. Green sure touch with lime pins, no liners. Black sure touch. Black pins, no liners. Another green sure touch with brass pins, no liners. Got an orange sure touch with lime green pins, 
and lime green liners. Got a camo sure touch with orange pins and orange liner. Again, I hope you can hear me over the wind. It's March, East Texas. And yeah, what are you going to do? Blue, sure touch, red liners, red pins. Blue sure touch, brass pins, no liners. And if I'm going too fast, just pause the video. you got time. Again, we're going to post this video on Thursday, and we're not, the sale isn't till Saturday. Saturday. What is the date on Saturday? So it'll be Saturday the 19th, okay? At noon Central Standard Time on my website, wcknives.com, on the available Custom Knives webpage, okay? Be three listings. All right, so that's all the fatty, we're going to call them the fatty handles in sure touch all right now here's going to be the third listing which is going to be the narrow ones or the thinner handles for you that that like thinner handles if you want to use it as a pocket carry or a neck carry something like that and none of these will come with sheaths i'm not making sheaths for them uh stitchgearoutfitters.com has this knife he can make you a leather sheath for it if you want to do kydex you'd have to ship it to whoever's going to do the kydex Stitch Gear can do Kydex, but he would need the knife for that, okay? Because each one individually is a custom build or handmade, so they have a little bit variances here and there. So in order to do the Kydex, you have to get the Kydex molded to that exact knife or, or final fitted to that exact knife. All right, so here's the first one in the narrow listing, or, or one of them in the narrow listing. Lime green sure touch with yellow. Now see, that's yellow. Yellow liners brass pins okay I've got a blue sure touch blue pins and purple liners I hope you guys can see that all right and I've got a camo sure touch with orange pins and an orange liner This is a Coyote Sure Touch with burgundy pins and a burgundy liner. Natural Canvas Micarta with OD Green Lemon Micarta liners. Brass pins. Orange Sure Touch Blue Pins Blue Liners And the last one is Gray Sure Touch Blue Pins and Thick Blue Liners This one is very rounded <laughs> Show you how that rounded that is if you get find the camera here A very rounded handle that's almost a broom handle so if you like broom handles it's just because uh, used a thin scale with a thick liner uh, this is the only one like that okay so but I mean if if you like smaller handles well this was ringing your phone right now all right okay that's it if you have any questions uh, just place them in the comments below um, I think I've covered everything again Saturday um, on the 19th at um, 12 o'clock Central Standard Time, 12 noon Central Standard Time, which will be 1 o'clock East Coast, 12 o'clock Central, 11 o'clock Mountain, and uh, 10 o'clock Pacific. Okay? All right. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys are wonderful. 
Uh, I was going to do an introduction video on these things, but I don't think I need to because, I mean, everybody is just clamoring for these things. Uh, again, there's 37 altogether. Uh, if you don't get in on the sale, then you can order one after the sale through a dealer, any dealer of your choice. Um, and um, But they won't have a first run on the blade. It will just be uh, my logo and fire and bone on the blade. No first run, okay? All right, till the next one, you guys get in the backyard with a little stick. Be sure to take a child with you, get the opportunity, and don't forget those plenty of band-aids and lots of knives. We'll catch you again very, very soon.